hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show how to design this model this simple model we draw this model here as a practical exercise in free card so if you want this string here you can download it on my grab card site if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site link to this page can be found on the description of this video thank you okay so next here we create a new document and now here we select part design of bench and here we create a new body and a new sketch we sketch here in xy plane and what we'll do in this first sketch will be will be a sketch of this face here this part so we come back to this sketch here and we select this polyline tool and here we draw this horizontal line now this line here and this horizontal line and now click on this point here and next as you can see we have to do this fillet here so here we select this tool this fillet tool and now we select these two lines and next these two lines okay and here we select this equal constraint and we make these two arcs equal and now select this merge constraint and we set these two center points merge to this vertical line and now these two end points merge to this vertical line here and next here we draw a slot so select these two here and now draw this slot here okay and we set these two lines equal okay and next here we'll set the dimension of this sketch so first here we'll select this constraint here and for this arc we'll set a range of 28 okay and for this arc here we'll set 14 okay and next here we have this horizontal distance here so we select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points here and we set a distance of 25 okay and the distance of this line here is 100 so we click in this line here and we set 100 okay and now we select this center point here and now these okay select this center point and now this center point here and we set constant okay and now we have one degree of freedom so here we, we have to set the height of this sketch here so first select this vertical distance tool and now here in this view we see eight millimeters so here we select this point and now this point here and we set dimension here and now leave the sketch press home and select this pet tool and here we'll set a length of here we see 18 okay and what we'll do next next we'll create a new sketch for this pocket here so here we create a new sketch in yz plane okay and here we switch to section view and first we extract this edge here and now select this polyline tool and now we draw this sketch okay and next here We'll create these fillets in this sketch. So we select this fillet tool and we select these two lines and we create this fillet here and now this line here. And next we'll set the dimension of these arcs and these lines here. So we select this constraint here and for this arc here we see nine millimeters. We change here to nine and for this arc here we don't have the dimension but we can set this dimension here five 
okay and next we have 20 here so what we'll do here here we select this horizontal distance tool and now this point and this point here and we set 20 okay and and now here we select this point and this point here and we set vertical horizontal constraint okay and here we have this length here so what we'll do first here we'll drag this point and now we select this vertical distance tool and now this point and this point here and we set five millimeters okay and we have this angle here so we select this constraint and now this line here and now this line and we set 44 okay and now we have three degrees of freedom okay so now we can leave this sketch and and next we go to this pocket tool and here we change the type to draw goal and we set smart to plane and now we get this pocket here as you can see and what we'll do next next here we'll try to create this pocket here so we select this face here and we go to the thickness tool and we set we check this option here and we change the thickness here to 1.5 this dimension here and okay now we get this pocket okay and next here we select this face and we create a new sketch switch to section view and here we'll draw slots so select this tool here and draw this slot and now and now this slot here and next select this line tool click on this arc and now on this arc to draw this line here and now on these two arcs and next select this trim tool and we trim this arc here and this arc sorry and this arc here and this arc and now here we delete these two lines these two horizontal lines okay and here we set these lines vertical these lines must be horizontal okay and now we set equal for these two lines okay and now we use this horizontal constraint here and we select this point now this point and this point and this point okay okay and okay it's all and next we select this symmetric constraint and we select these two points and now this vertical line and now we have six degrees of freedom so now I select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and this edge and now we select this equal constraint and these two arcs we set equal now we select this arc and this arc here and we set equal okay and and next here we select this point and this point here and we set constant okay and these two points here and we set constant so now this sketch is constrained so we leave this sketch and we go to the path tool and here we can set a length of 18 no problem okay so now we get this so next here we have to cut this part here so we go to model and now in this pocket here click on this arrow and here we'll copy this sketch so right click on mouse and select this copy option and select only this sketch here and enter and now click on this past icon and 
now we drag this cage into this body and space bar to make this cage visible and go to the pocket tool and okay here we'll set we change here to trogol and smart to plane and now we set okay so now we have this and what you'll do next okay next here we'll create these pockets here so we can select this space here and create a new sketch okay switch to section view and and okay here we'll here we'll draw two arcs so first here we'll extra this edge and this edge here and now select this arc tool and draw arc in these two points and now we draw this arc okay and now we select this line tool and we create a line in these two arcs and now this line here and now select this train tool and we trim this arc and this arc and now this arc here and now we set a submerged constraint in these two points in this vertical line and we set these two lines equal okay and now we select these okay and next we'll select this parallel constraint and we make this line parallel to this line here okay so now we have this and here we see this dimension here okay so we select this horizontal distance tool now this point and this point here and we set 68.7 okay and here we'll set a radius of 240 for this arc here so we select this tool and now this arc here and we set 200 foot okay and for for the length of the for this line here we'll set a length of four millimeters okay and next here okay next here we drag this point and we don't have this distance here so we can set so we select this tool here we select this point and now this point here and we will set a link to let's try 2.5 millimeters it's okay so we we'll leave this sketch and next we we'll select this pocket tool and we set sorry here we set smart to plane and here we set true goal and okay okay this sketch is not closed so click cancel and now go to model and double click in the sketch what we'll do here we select this line tool and we connect these two points here okay and leave this sketch and now we go to the pocket tool again and we set to a goal and smart plane and now set okay and now we get this pocket here okay and next here we have to do these fillet operations here okay so here we have we have a range of 1.5 so you will select this edge here and go to the fillet tool and we change here to 1.5 and now click in this add button and we add this now we add this edge here and these two edges 
okay and we get this failure operation here so now we set okay and and as you can see we finish the design of this model here so thank you for watching this video